We finally have some details, some details from a very credible source, the CEO of the largest automotive publication in China, saying that the new BYD Blade battery version two is actually coming to one of BYD's EVs that's just been revealed. They have the details of this new BYD Blade battery and the Blade battery is honestly way better than I thought. I mean, version two of BYD's Blade battery just destroys BYD's existing battery. It is so much better that I kind of think if you got, let's say you got the upgraded new version of BYD's car and it had the Blade battery version two, uh, you'd be going, wow, this thing's amazing. But if you didn't get it, you missed out and you bought the existing today's Blade battery, you'd be kind of a bit pissed off. You'd be a bit like, holy hell, I just missed out on getting insanely good technology. Now here are the details. We know there's fast charging speed, the energy density of the new Blade battery. Well, based on these sources from China, which are very reputable. And what this battery means is that it is a game changer for BYD. Let's be frank, guys. I know a lot of people who love BYD have um, probably unsubscribed from the channel because I have criticized BYD's Blade battery technology. Now, don't get me wrong, four years ago, when I started the channel, I was all about BYD. You guys didn't know who they were, but I was all about BYD Blade battery. It's fantastic. But that was four years ago. Four years. Nothing changed for four years. I mean, really, that's not good enough, right? I mean, look what other companies did. They, every year they were changing their batteries. Yeah. Finally, though, we have the version two of the Blade battery. And, well, the wait, I think, was worth it. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to have you with us. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. This is video number, I think, about number 6001, something like that. And I want to say a big thank you to our Patreon supporters who have been with us, you know, enabled me to make those videos, enabled me to get all that content out there, enabled me to educate people four years ago on who BYD were, and no one knew who, knew who they were, and to make predictions, crazy ones, like BYD would be, be the biggest car company in 2030. I said that a few years ago. People said, no, that's insane. What are you talking about? Well, I think it's pretty likely. BYD is set to deliver around 500,000 vehicles, just over that, in fact, in the month of October, right? That's a single month. So what is this blade battery gonna do? Well, first of all, the charging speed of the existing blade battery is, it's not very good. Let's be honest, the absolute maximum charging speed I've seen for the blade battery, and it's in the newer versions of BYD's EVs, is around 240 kilowatt. 240, that's the maximum I've seen. That's all it seems to be capable of, That's which is not bad, it's not terrible, but it's certainly nowhere near class leading because there's about, 12 other batteries right now that have you know between 450 to 600 kilowatt charging speeds and that's not theoretical by the way that's they can actually do that the new blade battery will have 5.5 c charging which is approximately 500 kilowatt fast charging so 500 kilowatt you know double double the speed of charging that's that's pretty incredible what that means is you could charge your say let's say your new addo 3 had this battery it, it won't but probably next year it will. Let's say it does, you buy the new version, you can probably charge your car on the right charger in 10.5 minutes. Now that's not some bullshit 20, uh, 30, what are they saying now, 30 to 80%, I hate that crap. It's just not 30 to 80%, this is 10 to 80%. This is the real stuff, right? 10 and a half minutes to charge from 10 to 80%. I mean, I really don't think that there's any advantage at that point when you're charging your car that speed. I don't think there's any advantage to gasoline, to petrol, to diesel, none whatsoever. 10.5 minutes. Now this brings BYD up with the big boys. Now who are the big boys with charging speed? Well, GLE is with their short blade battery. Their short blade battery is half the length of a BYD blade battery and that enables you to charge it much faster. They can charge it up to 600 kilowatt. And of course, Kato will have a few different battery chemistries. They have the Chillin 2.0, they have the Shenzhen Plus batteries. Those batteries can charge around 500 and about between 500 to 500 max, 580 kilowatt. So these speeds are crazy. And you might be thinking to yourself, well, this is pointless. And I mean, we don't have any charges for this, but we do. Once more of these cars exist and are on the market, we will build chargers to service them. But in China, they do have them. And Geely have built out hundreds of chargers capable of 600 kilowatt charging because the cars are being made, being built. So 
when these cars are sold on the market, there will be chargers capable of charging at those speeds. And keep in mind, there's already chargers, right? In many countries that can charge at 350 kilowatt. And whilst you're hearing these numbers from uh, Hyundai and Kia, Porsche, oh yeah, our EVs will charge at 350 kilowatt, they don't. They actually don't. They actually, actually uh, they probably should be um, forced to remove those marketing claims because they're not true. Um, no one can ever repeat that. It's their unrepeatable numbers. So if you have an EV that can charge at 600 or 500 kilowatt, you put it on a 350 kilowatt charger, it's probably gonna charge for a long period of time at 350 kilowatts. So you're still gonna charge your EV in probably 15 minutes, 15 minutes, that's crazy. That's the biggest difference with this blade battery. But there's one other difference which is enormous, the energy density. So the energy density of today's blade battery is 160 watt hours per kilogram. Now, it's a little bit confusing here. I mean, some sources have said BYD's blade battery is 160 watt hours per kilogram, but actually it's not. It's 150 watt hours per kilogram. That is exceptionally low for today's updated batteries. Uh, for example, the lithium ion phosphate battery that's used in the Xpeng G6, the standard range you can buy today in Australia, that has about 165 watt hours per kilogram. Ktol Shensing Plus battery has 205. Um, Ktol, in fact, have three different lithium ion phosphate batteries with 200 watt hours per kilogram energy density. Uh, Geely Short Blade battery has 192 watt hours per kilogram of energy density. As you can see, these numbers all are much, 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 much higher than BYD's Blade battery, 150 watt hours per kilogram. It's an incredible difference. You know, we're talking a 25% energy density difference, which is one of the key reasons why you'll find the uh, BOD cars EVs today, they're not competitive on range. If you say, look at the battery size, look at the size of that car, how far does that vehicle go, right? BOD's vehicles are, they're good, they're, they're great value, but they're just not quite competitive on range in comparison to a battery energy density, to battery size, and therefore their efficiency suffers a little bit. And it does, it's true. For, I don't know how Tesla did it, but somehow Tesla's, Tesla uses BYD's blade battery in its German-made Tesla Model Y, and somehow Tesla's able to get more range out of that vehicle, even in the Model Y, than what BYD gets with the exact same battery and the same size in the Addo 3. So Tesla works magic on batteries and is able to just get more than what they should. But the truth is, it's still very low energy density. The new Blade battery, the version two, will have 190 watt hours per kilogram. So not quite up with Geely, you know, it's nearly there, I mean 192 versus 190. Not quite up with Cadle, of course, with their um, advanced batteries, but it's very good. Keep in mind, Cadle also have the million mile battery. That million mile battery has an energy density of 175 watt hours per kilogram. And they have their um, nearly a million mile battery, I think it's guaranteed for 700,000 miles. That is an energy density of about 190 watt hours per kilogram as well, similar to the Blade battery version two. Now, one other key factor here that's probably gonna be ignored by mainstream media is this battery can be discharged very, very quickly. So for those of you who don't know, the Tesla Model 3 Ludicrous, the performance version, the new version, it has less power. The, the version made in China has less power than the version made in America. And the reason is the battery's ability to discharge power. The, the ability for the batteries to discharge power in the Chinese version, which I believe uses LG Chem or LG Energy Solution batteries, is lower than Panasonic's. And Panasonic's batteries in America can discharge more power. So BYD's blade battery can discharge a lot more power than the old version. Now they say the discharging multiplier is more than 14C. So we don't have exact numbers on that, but it sounds like what that would mean is that if you have a high powered BYD, you'll be able to actually discharge more of that power. Uh, meaning, you know, if you've got a, an EV with dual motors and say 300, 400, 500 kilowatt or horsepower, then rather than it feeling like it's not going as fast as it potentially could compared to rivals, because you think to yourself, hang on a minute, I have all this power, but and the car is fast, just not quite as fast as you'd expect. That's because of the limitations on the blade battery's ability to discharge power. But this new battery, the version two, can discharge a lot more power, meaning your car will feel faster, even though it might have the same actual horsepower output. So those are the three differences with the new vehicle. So what is this new vehicle that BYD are gonna first put the first 
display battery version two into. Well, before we get to that, I actually think guys that BYD have been waiting to manufacture the fully electric version of the BYD Shark pickup truck, waiting for the blade battery version two, for production to get underway, for the mass manufacturing the blade battery version two, because I mean, imagine putting the blade battery, uh, making the pickup truck electric only, but having a very, very low energy density battery, you would have to have a huge battery pack in the Shark. But with this new battery with much, much higher energy density and of course, much faster, faster charging speeds, I think a fully electric version makes a lot more sense. So I think that's why BYD said that they delayed the fully electric version of the Shark. Now BYD, I'm putting it out there. If you make a fully electric version of the Shark, I promise you, I will buy it. I'll buy it. Anyhow, this new vehicle is the Yang Wang U7. Such a weird name, isn't it? Yang Wang. Anyhow. The Yang Wang U7 is a very, very big luxury um, sedan. And it does look good. It looks fantastic. I personally, my personal opinion is I don't like these cars. I think they're enormous and they're kind of a little bit grotesque in terms of, um, in terms of the weight, it just seems like it's a bit of a, a misuse of materials. But anyhow, I know people will buy these kind of cars and they like them and they, you know, that's fine. So the Yang Wang U7 is actually, of course, a sub-brand of BYD. It's their luxury, or in fact, their ultra luxury sub-brand. This vehicle will cost 140,000 US dollars. It's extremely expensive. It's big too. It's nearly 5.3 meters long. Wheelbase is 3.16 meters. And it has four motors. Each motor has a, an output of 240 kilowatt. So this thing has, what, 960 kilowatt of power, meaning about, what, 1,000, about 1,350 horsepower, and the new Blade Battery version too. So what are your thoughts, guys? Um, do you think it's worth waiting for this new, for a new BOD with this new battery? I do, actually. I think it's worth waiting. And um, I'm very interested in some of BOD's electric cars but I would feel a little bit like I got shortchanged if I was to go and buy a BYD today and then a few months later, they're like, oh, guess what? Um, our new one has the new Blade Battery version too. And actually it charges twice as fast, more than that potentially even, and has much more range. Now, one other benefit is there are reports that the Blade Battery version two can handle charging in very low temperatures. So in very cold temperatures, lithium ion phosphate batteries can have problems with charging and they're gonna have problems with battery degradation. And when I say degradation, I don't mean actually permanent degradation. I mean, you know, you drive, you drive you're in the cold, you charge your battery to 80%, and you look at the range thing, and it's like, what? It's dropped from 80 to 60, what the hell just happened? Within a matter of seconds. That's one thing, really cold temperatures can, they can affect LFP battery, add LFP battery performance, but new LFP batteries, they're developing ways to actually fix that. And I've heard, that that may be the case, but I can't confirm with a Blade Battery version two.